there, Dr. Shana Peter here, holistic doctor here in the Chicago area. I want to take a few minutes today to walk you through what we're doing in our office to help people who've been struggling with eczema. So these people, they've kind of been through everything. They've done the conventional treatments, they've done the steroids, they've tried all these different creams and ointments, and their eczema just keeps coming back. And so with eczema, it's this complex condition that's caused by an imbalance in the immune system. And so that can be caused by a number of factors, and the specific root causes can vary from one person to the next. So I got a few tips that I'm going to zero in on with you today that um, when they're addressed, they can really help to get that healing process going. So the first is identifying food triggers. And so the most common ways to do that are through an elimination diet where you eliminate a group of foods that are considered allergenic for a period of time and then you reintroduce them and see how your body responds. The other method would be through a food allergy test. So there's many different types of testing out there. I'm a fan of doing a blood test because you can check for immediate reactions as well as more delayed reactions that are harder to pinpoint. And so what a lot of people find is there's often quote unquote healthy foods that are triggering their um, eczema reaction. So it can be really helpful for people in that way to identify some foods that they could start avoiding right away to um, get their skin under control. But I do want to bring to your attention that with food sensitivities, they are a symptom of a deeper problem. So that deeper problem has to be addressed in order to correct the food sensitivities. When someone has a lot of food sensitivities, it doesn't mean that they need to avoid all those foods for the rest of their life. Some of those sensitivities sensitivities can be overcome if the root cause is addressed. So next we've got assessing digestive health. So we said that eczema is caused by an imbalance in the immune system, right? So, well, 70% of your immune system is located in your gut. And there's many different things that can go wrong with a person's gut health that can lead to eczema. They can have an imbalance in their microbiome. So they could have overgrowth of good bacteria. They could have not enough good bacteria. They could have presence of bad organisms and pathogens. And all of these things can cause problems with gut health. They can have poor digestion, which can cause a lot of problems. They could have leaky gut syndrome. So we've actually seen a number of cases of people that have had undiagnosed celiac disease. So they were continuing to expose themselves to wheat through their diet not realizing that they were allergic and it was causing their eczema and causing severe leaky gut. So those are some examples. So the last one that I want to touch on is repairing the skin barrier. So a damaged skin barrier can play a big role in eczema. So it's really important to have a skincare routine in place that repairs the skin barrier and really helps to minimize as much as possible the water loss through the skin. So I hope that you found those tips to be helpful. Hey, if you'd like to schedule a consultation and see if we're a good fit to work together, head over to wellaheadchicago.com. But don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that bell. We've got lots of great content and I don't want you to miss anything. Until next time, take care and be well.